Company of Director of Warehouse Operations for Meyer, and we want to welcome you guys to our wonderful uh, facility here. Um, there's a lot of information I can share with you, but a lot of that has already been touched on. But really, I, I think if you just start watching what's occurring here, um, you can see how the uh, automation process is working here at Meyer. What you see going around here are loop area, these pallets that are being moved about. Our receiving department will bring these over to the uh, actual induction point, and that induction point is right over here where you see the pallets behind me with Paul the Dean. Uh, the pallets are put on at a rate of about 60 pallets an hour as was highlighted, and we're able to bring that into what they call this interstitial area, and those purple vehicles that have that are sliding those pallets over, those are called STVs, or they're, what are called sorting transport vehicles. So we have five of those vehicles, in, excuse me, four, five of those vehicles, is that right? Four of those vehicles in play, I'll get it. Um, and basically we have the 12 cranes. So as you see, each of these pallets is being picked up and deposited um, into the system. And there's an algorithm that's put into play that evenly distributes our, our pallets throughout all the cranes. And that's very helpful when you're, sometimes the crane may be under repair or needing maintenance, then you're able to still get the product you need out to the customer. So again, speed to market is what's most important here. We're trying to get the pallets stored as quickly as possible. Meyer basically brings in all their product uh, through containers through the Port of Oakland and then those are brought out to the facility. Currently, we're offloading about 20 containers a day and have an incredible amount of growth in that area. So once again, the STVs are working through. You can see how quickly the goods are going into the facility's storage area on the 12 frames. Now, what's really another efficiency opportunity is for our outbound department. So we're in, we're in the 165,000 square feet portion of this facility. Right across the way, just over your right, or your left, straight through these holes there, are basically where all the product is actually processed onto trucks, outbound to all the major retailers who are out there in the U.S. This is the single distribution point for the United States. Um, you also can see that we have a variation of our Analon Circulon, Earth Pans, and all of our other family of products uh, that easily can be palletized. Now, one of the highlights that was brought up by Kuku like, is the importance of the accuracy. What we have is the ability, actually, if you think about it, we can audit all the pallets quite quickly. Uh, pallets will come around. We have what's called this e-stop area. Pallets can be brought to the user. So when our facility is going through cycle counting in the building, the product comes to them, they don't have to go to the product. And it allows us to speed up that process of having accurate inventory. And accurate inventory means better bill rates for our customer, which is the most important thing, our customer getting the product when they need it. So that's a positive. Um, some of the other system um, uh, positives we have is, is that you saw outside as you were walking in, we have what's called an AGV, and AGV stands for Automated uh, Automatic Guidance Vehicle. So those vehicles are able to work with our receiving department and pick goods up upon receipt, palletized, and brought over to the automated portion of this facility. Uh, we are currently going to be bringing those on board in the early late spring or early summer of next year. But it also adds to the efficiency in getting the product uh, to our customers in the quickest fashion. Um, as I go along here, I'm going to also look for if you have questions or anything that comes to mind. Feel free to raise your hand and uh, try to answer the question as best we can. But as I'm telling you now, if you look at it, it's very impressive. Um, if you look, some of the cranes go down at least two football fields long. On the right hand side there on number one and two, those legs are the longest in the facility at about over 650 feet. And then it scales back as we move all the way to frame number 12 to about uh, 540 uh, feet in length. So as you watch through here, it can work very quickly. And as it goes, typical lift operators, uh, when they're putting something away, they will simply get to the location, pick it up, and put it away. You'll notice that the cranes actually are in motion already. 
Uh, as the crane is going down, it picks up the good. It will simply slide down and start elevating itself already up to the location it needs to be put away. It's 11 stories high at the top peak. So if you look under here, it was commented by all of our speakers, we have a lot of natural light shining through. So today you can see fairly well through there. And at night, we really don't need any lights in here other than where you're standing right now. So the facility is very efficient in being able to bring product out quickly. So those are just some really key points to touch on. And if anyone has any questions, please feel free.